Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. I posted a video yesterday, which is Friday, which isn't like my normal posting days, but since I have like different days off, I figured, I don't know, it's just like my vlogs have been kind of sporadic, but I'm hoping to get like a routine maybe because with my new schedule as of now I could post like Tuesday and Thursday I think that would be good but I don't know yet so I'm not like gonna stick to that but again I'm just rambling my thoughts out because I can right now I'm running errands basically I'm just going to downtown celebration to mail something because my jacket sold I'm so happy because I got these new sunglasses that were like kind of overly priced but if I'm being real with myself I wear my sunglasses like a lot I went into this in my last video but because I don't like change my sunglasses a lot like I feel like cost per wear and the benefit and everything is like totally fine and it's funny I'm not even wearing sunglasses now but it's because it's like really overcast since I don't get a lot of sunglasses all the time I just get like one every I guess four years I'm like you know what I'm just gonna treat myself yesterday I got paid so I've like kind of budgeted out because I have a Sherry's birthday weekend next weekend and I'm getting her an Apple watch and like you know just the fun festivities next weekend so I kind of budgeted for that but still I really wanted them and I've thought about these sunglasses like all week like I wasn't just like an impulse pur purchase it was like if I am still thinking about them and still really really want them and I get paid then I'll just get them so I got them ah, I'm so excited I hope they ship fast and get to me fast because it's one of those like oh my gosh I want them now type of feels but you know allergies are doing a little bit better but then again I work inside so it's not like I'm outside but still I still have a little bit more mucus than normal I'm also running to Starbucks obviously because it's the weekend and that's part of my like weekend you know thing I did not get to go to cycle bar this morning because with the time change not getting a lot of sleep because Piper woke me up what was it was like Wednesday night going into Thursday morning. She like vomited and stuff. So I had to like wake up during the night. Well, I kind of like put it off for a good like hour. Um, she only vomited like twice and they weren't even that big luckily. But I was like, I have to get up anyway really early in the morning. So I really want to at least like try to force myself to sleep, you know? At 4 30 she like barked so I'm like whenever she barks I like I know it's real like I know she needs to get out of there so I'm like all right all right all right so I go and I see and I'm like oh I'm so sorry and then I get her up and everything and take her out and clean up her cage yeah I was like I have to get up in half an hour anyway might as well she like gave me some time to build in to like take care of her and stuff so yeah, and then I rested my eyes for 10 minutes and then I left for work. So that was like not a fun day. And I had to make Piper's grooming appointment, speaking of Piper. Um, I called and like no one answered. Maybe they were closed or something, but yeah, I need to make her grooming appointment. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just on the road now, it shouldn't take too long. And then Valerie and I are gonna have to pressure wash our like front porch and like part of the back porch because the HOA is like kind of super strict here, which it, in all reality, like I think it needs to be if like, you know, this town has to like keep up uh, with like appearing nice and stuff. So I get it, but it's super annoying. So I'm definitely gonna vlog that for you guys so you can see our pain and it'll probably be kind of funny. But yeah, it's hair washing day, but I'm gonna just wash my hair after I'm just gonna wash my hair after that project because like I'm probably gonna get kind of dirty. That is the game plan for today. Kyra and I are hanging out tomorrow, which is gonna be fun, I think. I have no idea what we're doing yet. She was just like, do you wanna do something tomorrow? I'm like, sure. That'll be fun. I haven't seen Kyra in a long time. And when I say a long time, I do mean like a long time because we used to see each other every day because of school, our surge tech program. Goodbye, Lululemon jacket. 
I just saw the cutest little doggos. I saw husky and beagles. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. But I got done with the errands. I got the coffee. I was gonna try the lavender drink, but I don't know. I just, I don't like trying stuff most of the time. And then I got mother's drink. And now I'm gonna head home. I've been using my Goyard. Kayla inspired me. And I wanna do a whole video on this. Um, like a review honestly it's the perfect size it's slightly smaller than the neverfull so it's like i don't know it's just a bit easier to manage and it's just like a really really good size i love it and i mean honestly it looks like the real thing so dh gate guys it'll just take six months to get to you and you might feel like you got scammed and i messaged him one time and i was like where is this i'm gonna have to do a return or like well, I did label it too as like never got because it took like way long to get here, but it's all right. Now I'm going to head home and probably relax a little bit, but also we're going to get started on doing the outside of our house. So what a fun Saturday. I got to keep reminding myself it's Saturday, not Sunday or not Friday. Um, because that's, I, I just feel like it's Friday. And then with this time change, it's just even more like whack so I'm still getting used to it okay so thank god this guy's gonna come and do the pressure washing I lucked out because um, I didn't know if he was gonna come or not so I just like called and he's gonna come and be here around 1 so I'm gonna go wash my hair probably real quick before the guy gets here yeah so oh my gosh thank god because I was having bugs follow me and stuff. It was just not good, but it's fine. Hey you guys, it's the next day and I am getting ready to go to the mall with my friend Kyra. We're gonna just hang out there. I swear, this outfit, the only reason why I'm wearing it is because it's like kind of green. It's St. Patrick's Day, so sometimes I don't like the way this looks, but whatever. It's not ugly, so I'll wear it. Um, and then I curled my hair a little bit, but I have to get on the road. So I'm on my way to Mall at Millennia and decided to use the green Goyard again because it's green and it's St. Patrick's Day. So I'm like, oh, it's perfect timing to use the bag. Um, I don't know where we're gonna eat yet, so that's still an unknown, but I'm starting to get kind of hungry, so um, kind of glad we're meeting up around 11. Okay, so I did want to touch on the fact that yesterday I had like a low-key stressful day because I didn't like follow up with the people, right, for the power washing. So I thought we were gonna have to do it. And then I called them and they're like, oh, we can be there at one. And then they were like an hour late because something with their truck. So I was like stressing out that entire day. After I vlogged that little clip, I didn't vlog anything else because I was just like too stressed out. I didn't want to have to think about anything after that. So I literally just spent the day on TikTok and just like, yeah, just didn't have a good day. And then at 2 a.m. this morning, Piper throws up again. Um, we're just thinking she has a sensitive stomach because she's not acting sick or anything. So yeah, I don't know, but it has definitely been a day and hopefully today will go a lot better um but it's okay like we all have our those weekends those days that it's just like maybe it doesn't go according to plan i really wanted to go to cycle bar yesterday didn't wake up in time today i woke up at 7 but i also got interrupted at 2 a.m from the vomit so it's fine Okay, so we made it to the mall. It was funny because I parked in, I guess, the valet parking. There was no one in the lot, so I don't know how I ended up there, but I, like, turned at a later time, so, yeah. That was super weird, and the guy was like, oh, you can't park here. Is that your car? I'm like, yeah, okay. So I just drove around, and hopefully I'm in the right spot. I mean, that was super weird, but... All right, with Kyra now, and she's like all dressed up looking cute. We finally get to eat in this like area that I've always wanted to eat at. It's like inside, but outside. It's nice, cause like our allergies won't be like killing us, you know? But yeah, it's a pretty view. I got some spaghetti. They didn't have meatballs, but they had this like meat sauce, so I'm gonna try it. And then Kyra got a flatbread. 
Oh, here we go. Got a cake pop. Nice little dessert. Kyra, I was talking on the phone with her this one day and she was like, there's an aloe coming to Millennium Mall. I'm so excited. But we're just like roaming around and walking aimlessly in the mall. I had to stop in the Apple store to see the new spring colors. I see the pink. I wanted to see the lavender, not lavender, the teal color. It's over there. All right, so I'm in Kyra's new car. Look, she has a little sunroof. So tell them what we're doing. Um, I may be going to get a new phone. I don't know. Hell we'll see. Yeah. So see. basically, she was saying, oh my gosh, this is like perfect to. <laughs> okay, so Kyra was saying, new car new phone Udis. so i was gonna take like if she does get a new phone which i'm fingers crossed because like i really want her to get a new phone because if she doesn't like i don't know i have to be it, the one to be with her when she gets a new phone i know and look at these bevels they're so big she has the 11. i'm i'm manifesting it there's gonna be a phone there for you i hope so we'll see we'll so see. we're going to metro pcs and see if metro she can so shit Maybe it's not a piece of shit. We don't know. Don't speak that out there. Okay. They, they might not give you a new phone. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, we're going to drive there and see if she can get a new phone. And then I'll make the Instagram like new car, new phone. Who it is? is? I mean, kind of the craze of the iPhone 15's like over. Yeah, so maybe so. they'll give me a discount. Who the fuck is honking? You better not be honking at me. Keep fucking driving. If I had a little more money yeah. to my income, that's yeah. what I would have gotten, the CX-90. It's it kind of big, so nice. but it is It has nice. a third row. But why do you need a third row? Um, I don't. But you just want it. I just want it. Okay. Um, you know, like whenever I have a bunch of friends, I mean, I need to transport them or something. <laughs> I don't know. I need to transport them. <laughs> Um, when we go to the beach, true. Um, you can haul your your um, haul all my shit, whatever that the paddleboard. Yeah, and then the when, beach chairs. Period. And then um, if, when I have a kid, you know, car seat, have that. car seat, multiple kids. Multiple kids. Oh, yeah, like that guy a has a row. minivan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I will never have a fucking minivan. Exactly. <laughs> but this is fine for now. I can still have a kid with this car. It's fine. I can't wait to have a kid. <laughs> All right, we made it into Metro. Kyra already dropped one. <laughs> You're dying. Anyway, they have the 15, but we're gonna ask about the 15 Pro and see if they have it. Update, Kyra. Uh, so What's the went, verdict? So we went to the T-Mobile, uh, Metro by T-Mobile, and they have a 15, however, they don't have the 15 Pro. And then they told me, she, the lady straight up told me she was so honest, she was so nice, she was so kind. She said, it'll be significantly cheaper if you just go and finance through Apple because we're gonna charge you a hella interest and it's gonna be $150 a month for yeah. a year. That's not Which, cool. mind you, on the flat out price on the thing, it said like 700 something for the iPhone 15 plus. Mm -hmm. 150 times 12. $1,800! not worth it. What? That's insane. Yeah. So we're going back to the Apple store. We're going back to the And Apple we're going to browse. And maybe see our friend who... Maybe he'll help me out. Yeah, know. exactly. He was nice. He I forgot his name, but I know what he looks like. Did he say his name? I don't know. I forgot. I don't remember. Yeah. We'll see. He asked for my name. Yeah, he did. <laughs> She's doing it, guys. We're here at the Apple store. And... Will you do an unboxing for my channel? Okay, cool. I promise I'll okay, okay. this back. And then you're just gonna go ahead and rip both sides there for me. Kyra's unboxing her little new phone. So fun. Careful, don't drop it. No pressure. Oh, oh my so gosh, pretty. it's so pretty. Okay, put the case on it quickly. That's really pretty. Right? It reminds me of like coffee. <laughs> it, your person, it, I know. it does everything. 
matches now. Wait, turn it. Oh, oh it's so pretty. Kyra. Congrats. Oh, you have to get a new charging block. No, I have one. You do? I okay. have three. Oh, nice. With okay. USB C. Oh, cool. Okay, so basically Kyra got her new phone. I'm so happy for her. I am in Sunday night traffic um, up by the Millennium Mall. It's super crowded and chaotic, but basically she had trouble with the eSIM, kind of like I did. And I always hate that part because it stresses you out and everything. So I told her like, this is normal. This happens to me every time and I get exactly as worked up as she is. So anyway, she got it all sorted out, but she's meeting um, up with her friend Diana for um, like dinner and stuff. So she's a little late, I feel kind of bad, uh, but it's not like she could make the process of transferring the eSIM any faster. So yeah, but anyway, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.